Hello, good afternoon. God bless you this afternoon and God keep you this afternoon. I got my little two Bibles here, Holy Bible and the uh, NOT Bible. And I was uh, just reading out of, uh, so I'm going to share with you, reading out of Matthew chapter 11, uh, verse 1 through 7 of the Holy Bible King James. It says, Now and it came to pass when Jesus finished commanding his 12 disciples that he departed from there to teach and to preach in their city. And when John had heard in prison about the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said to him, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things which you hear and see, the blind see, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hears, and dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to him, you know, preached to them. And blessed is he who is not offended because of me. As they departed, Jesus began to say to the multitude concerning John, What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed, uh, he says, a reed shaken. A reed shaken by the wind. And as I read this and I think over and over and over, you know, it says, uh, I'm going to back up a little bit. It said, Now it came to pass when Jesus finished commanding his 12 disciples that he departed from there to teach and to preach in their city. And when John had heard in prison about the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples heard in prison and sometimes you know you can hear the word of god even in prison you know and sometimes they give god a clap and a praise and everything in the prison prison where they're locked up at and then it's like when they really come to the house of the lord when they're not inside the gates where they're not able to go where they want to go at the time but they be in the house of the lord you know and you see everybody clapping and giving God the praise, probably run up and down the aisle, dance and do their own praises. And then it's like when you was in prison, locked up, you was praising God, clapping your hands, doing all the nine jaws in prison. But then when you're free and get out here in the world, and then you go to the house of the Lord, it's like you all shut in. And you look at everybody giving God the praise, like what are you scared of? The same God was in that prison you the same God, and you know, out that prison. You know, so like, why are you not praising God when you're not in the prison anymore? But then deep inside, you still locked up somewhere. So it's like when you're in the house of the Lord, not just the one that's really been in prison. I'm talking about like, just look at it, like, let's look at others. Not giving God the praise, they're looking at everybody else, giving God the praise, doing all that damn, they think they're crazy, just looking at them like God ain't never done the form. And the only reason why is because they are still in prison. They may not even went to prison before, but they're still in prison because they won't give God the praise and the glory. So it's like you still locked up. Loops and all that out of you. You free. Give God the praise and the glory. Don't even worry about who's looking, who's watching, what everybody else doing. You know, I know God did something good for you somewhere in your life. He woke you up this morning. He did something. And you can't give God the praise and the glory. You know, it's like you're still locked up. You're still in prison. What's going on with you? You know, it's like, and then I don't understand when they be like, give, give God some praise, you know, for somebody else. You know, they be, you be like, well, they don't understand my situation. Why give them some praise? And I've been waiting for mine. So mine ain't came yet. And I've been praying and pressing on and Doing the right thing, and I still ain't got no blessing in my breakthrough yet, or my breakout yet. You want me to tell you? You really want me to think, be thankful for somebody else? And it's like, you don't understand. Because when you give God the praise and the glory with somebody else, your blessings can be closer than what you think. The results of the blessing could be closer than what you think when you do them things. You know, I thought that too. I didn't understand that neither. I'm like, why give them praise to the nigga? You know. And they got a car, they got whatever, and I ain't got this yet. And I'm in praise and pressing on and doing all the pain my side. And I'm still on the bus. I feel I feel what you're feeling. I understand what you're saying. But the minute you think, stop thinking about yourself. Stop thinking about all the, uh, uh, the goodness and the material stuff. 
You know what you've been waiting on, what you want, you know, but God knows when you need it. God want to see you give God, you want to see you some praise to him anyway. And when you give them praise and then be happy for somebody else, you're always going to be closer than what you think. That's how God can be testing you. Are you going to be happy with somebody else or you can still be like calling for your own selfishness? You know, if God can't trust you with a little, how you think he's going to trust you with a lot? A little bit, a little bit saying, you know, a little happiness, a little praise, a little clap or something for somebody else, you know, before you can get yours. You can be out with miles on the way. Think positive, miles on the way, miles next. I'm going to be thankful, but I'm happy for you. Because my little mind's on the mind, not mind closer than what I think. Because I don't think, uh, uh, if I don't think positive, you know, I'm not going to receive the positive message. It's going to take even longer until God, you know, show me what he wants me to do. Show up and show how. So I do understand, you know, what people may be thinking of what they're saying. I ain't giving no praise. I'm, I'm waiting on mine, too. You know, I ain't. Oh, well, that's them. Goody, goody. No, that's selfishness. Give God the praise and glory, too. Brother, whoever got whatever, give God with praise and glory, you know. You know, just believe in your, your choice on the way. Whether when your husband, house, car, whatever, whatever it is. It's not nothing to offer God. He wants to see you give him the praise and give him all what you got. You worry about you. That's what to do your dues, only worry about the don't. When you be having somebody else, you know, God, you, your blessing will be closer to what you think. When you be happy with somebody else, don't hate on somebody else because they, they got they got said probably before you. You don't know what's been going on in their everyday life. You know, you don't know, you don't see what everything, but everything, minute, every second, whatever, what somebody is doing, God knows. And I said, God knows your heart. He knows who's real and who's not real. So get out of all that prison and stuff. Give God the praise and glory. Even though if you by now you feel like you maybe don't think it's right. Do it anyhow. A lot of things don't be right. Look at the world. A lot of the stuff in this world ain't right. But you still trust in God. You still hope somewhere. You got to keep your faith. You got to keep the, uh, the positive. Stay on the positive side. Amen, somebody. And God bless you. I just wanted to share that with you. As I was reading and I'm, you know, hearing preachers and teachers, you know, talk about. But they use their own different things and different whatever ways, whatever. But, you know, as I think about the prison, some people just be in prison right there in the building. They should be out of that. You're still in prison. They're giving God a prayer. Just sitting there looking at everybody. Why? You, you're still shut in. You're still in prison in your own self. You're still in prison. Praise God. Get out of all that. Release yourself. Let God in your heart, in your mind, in your soul. Get your mind off others. Glory be to God. And that way you know what God has for you. Glory be to God. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. I'm perfect. Each and every last one of you. It's probably what you're going through. I don't even know what you're going through. I don't know my God. He will bring. He will fix it. He see you going through. He will bring it out. One, He will bring you out. One way or another. Don't worry about the rest. Do your best. Do your dues. Don't hate. Don't hate on somebody else. Or whatever they got. Hallelujah, somebody. You know, just keep on praising God. No matter how they praying or what they look like. You know, you're supposed to be in it for you. Because they can't save your soul. You can't save theirs. Amen, somebody. Thank you, Father. Pray for those who are watching. God bless you then. God keep you. Pray the Lord lead you. God you protect you and help you get out that prison, prison stage. Get out of all that uh, hatred and hating on somebody. What they got or what you see them or what they see them. Or who they with or what you seeing them do. I will pray you just go for you and bless, and just be blessing what God has for you. For your blessing to be close to what you think. You can just mess that up in one second by hating on somebody else or don't want you. I mean, just being mean to somebody else. Be nice. Rejoice with somebody else. Rejoice with somebody else. Have. No matter, you know, it just don't matter who it is or what they look like. Because y'all could be close to what you think. Try it. Just try it. Just try it and just do it. And keep on doing it. Don't stop it. Don't quit. Because I know it. I know what you're feeling. I've been there. And I know what it's like. You know, you just keep on pressing on and keep on holding on and keep on praising God no matter who, what, who's watching. Keep on lifting your hands up no matter what, what, who's watching or uh, what they're doing. Worry about what you're doing. Worry about what God has for you. It's about you. Between you and God, it's not about religion. It's about relationship with you and God. They met somebody. God bless you and your family. Then in Jesus' name. And I pray to hear this heal you from the top of your head, from the bottom of your feet in Jesus' name. And by his strike, you are healed, you are well if you believe in Jesus' name. God bless you and your family in Jesus' name. Stay up in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't hate. Love one another. Do your dues. Don't worry about the donor. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Glory be to God. And God bless you and God keep you. And remember, God love you and so do I. You take care and have a wonderful, blessed evening and have a wonderful, blessed day. A wonderful day in the Lord. Stay up. Stay.
stay blessed. Do your do's and don't worry about the don't. In Jesus' name. And see you later next time. Oh, God, feel the same.